Okay, I've not posted in ages, so I thought I'd show you my latest project, which is a clock depth in tool. Uh, it should be ready in the full video uh, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but basically, Bill Todd came up with this on Mad Modder, so full thanks to him about two years ago, just before I moved house, so couldn't complete the project. Um, so basically, we've got a large piece of brass. Um, this is for depth in the distance between a wheel and a pinion on a clock. They're pretty expensive, brand new, and I really like this concept. So it uses ball bearings uh, down at the bottom for the hinge, so you can see the hinge there working, hopefully. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to put this together, but I've managed to find these little C clips. They're not strong enough, and they're going to be replaced very soon with uh, bulldog clips, cut down bulldog clips for the springs. Um, so, but it, it works pretty well, the hinge. In fact, it works really well. You can feel uh, it's nice and smooth, um, and the two, two runs are parallel, which means that the runners are going to be parallel. Uh, so it just needs profiling now, so the centre, large piece of the centre cut out uh, and then of course these bits which are going to home the uh, actual uh, bars that hold, or the runners, if that's the, the official name, so the runners that hold the clock wheels and pinions in place. Um, so really nice design, uh, really pleased with this that I've uh, accomplished this evening. Uh, and hopefully it should be a, a good tool and I really really if it does work I've never seen one built like this and it's for somebody with a home workshop it's a really really um, well I say really easy a fairly easy um, build uh, concept so yep thanks again to uh, Bill Todd and Mad Modder and hopefully in the next couple of weeks you'll see this uh, fully completed thank you very much